This is Master Geo here at Toy Fair at Super 7 with Irene. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. All right, could you show me a little bit about uh, what Super 7 is all about and what they have? Sure. Product? So, Super 7 started in 2001 as a magazine for our founder, Brian. Um, he has a design firm with his wife in San Francisco, and he loved toys and collecting toys. And so, he decided to start a magazine to share his passion for uh, the toys he collected. So, a couple of years later, in 2004, uh, Super 7 opened up a store and then entered this world of designer, soft vinyl, Japanese style figures. So this is the origin story okay. of Super 7. We still make new designer vinyl toys and we show them at Designer Con and there's a following for these toys and we'll release a new color but in limited quantities, so not that much. So this is how we started. Um, and ever since then, uh, Super 7 has had a, pro uh, sort of a presence sorry, at San Diego Comic Con and we would showcase what's new, new apparel, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's where we started. And the apparel is something we love to do. Um, some licenses will just take the artwork, slap it on a shirt, and call it done. But we want to do something different, a Super 7 style to our t-shirts. So we're doing minimal styles where we strip it down to six lines, but really that um, image is very strong. Uh, you can see immediately that snake eyes. Uh, we do a lot of the 8-bit video game style that uh, there's only three colors and you can see that that's Cobra Commander as well. Um, and this geometric style as well, where we're taking the simple shapes, we're using the, the background t-shirt color as well to create that high, highlight and shadow depth um, using the simple shapes. So this is a very uh, good collection of the Super 7 style we're doing for our apparel. Okay. Um, so then we started thinking, hey, we should really get into this action figure collectible. From here, we went to this three and three quarter format um, and we ca called it the reaction figure. So reaction is short for retro action figure. Okay. Um, and it kind of follows that Kenner style format, simple, five points of articulation um, and highly like personalized style. We still have sculptors who work in the traditional clay and wax medium. Um, and some of the sculptors have been working in the industry for a very long time. That way you get that personality that shows through in the figure. Okay. Um, so we have the movie licenses, Alien from Fox, Planet of the Apes as well. Um, and then we're trying to expand the reaction program into music licenses with Misfits, Iron Maiden, Uncle, and the newest one that's coming is the King Diamond yeah, figure. That is awesome. Pretty rad. <laughs> so <laughs> we're excited about how um, reaction can kind of go into other genre. Like, uh, who would think to do Pee Wee's Playhouse as a reaction figure, right? right. right? Yeah. But these things are kind of um, iconic of our childhood. Uh, the video games as well is something that we're really interested to do because people come by and they're like, Ghosts and Goblins, I hated this game. It was so hard. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll look at it and go, immediately I can hear that song in my head, right? And they look at these figures and they're like super excited because it's something that uh, just reminds them of that childhood and brings back that nostalgic feeling. So Robotech is something we're doing. Um, even though it doesn't have that like physical physique of that three and three quarters, we're bringing in that size format. Um, so the robots still kind of work in the format that we're bringing in the reaction figure. Okay. Uh, and then we're doing the blind boxes in our alien. So we have our alien crew that we're bringing. Um, and also some of the alien queens will be available in a blind box so you don't know which color you're going to get. There's a mysterious chase figure in there as well. Do you have any questions about the reaction um, figures we're doing? Are these out yet or the alien uh, stuff? The alien stuff is not. So some of these, this is our third wave of alien reaction figures. Some of them uh, are brand new, but some of them have a new update like Ripley has Jonesy the cat. Uh, you'll see that the head actually pops off here on Ash. 
and then Kane has the broken space helmet with the face hugger alien, which is my personal favorite. Yeah, that one's awesome. <laughs> right? <laughs> so they will be coming out um, later, I think mid-year. <laughs> What we usually see is that we have a big push to have um, <laughs> sorry, figures available at San Diego Comic-Con, so I would expect that's the time frame we're looking at, but um, we do have a catalog. I don't know off the top of my head when okay. we'll be seeing Alien. This is soon. Okay, um, you, you, you did do a first wave of the of the exactly. blind boxes, right? Because so I have is, the green one at home. You do? Yes. So that's a miniature version of our super size Alien. Um, yeah, so this is a great color. It, uh, the first wave came in these two colors in a midnight blue with blood splatter. Um, so the, the fourth chase figure here, the mysterious one, is kind of an unexpected color that um, we hope will become something that's pretty addictive to purchase because okay. at the price point of $9.99, it's not bad to right, be right, able right. to own one of these alien queens. Uh, so Muscle is a small one and three quarter inch format that we also do with these figures. Um, Muscle is something that Mattel had released um, back in the 80s. And they took this from the Keshi format that was available in Japan, where there's a tiny one color figure with a candy and it's a blind box and you don't know what you're gonna get. So we did this and people were like, that's my childhood right there. Um, but. When we look at uh, kids who might be younger, they look at it and go, I don't get it, right? right. So if we go back to this first case, uh, we're bringing the format back in a more colorful uh, assortment to appeal to the younger kids. And instead of a candy, which is we're not kind of approved to put in with toys at this point, right. um, we have a holographic sticker in the Bakura Man Japanese illustrative style. Um, so you get the sticker, a figure in an unknown color that's in a blind box. And okay. super um, easy to just display on a countertop. Uh, the price point is affordable at $3.99 oh, yeah. a box. Perfect. Yeah. So then we are bringing all the other licenses we're working with in this format. Um, you'll see that we have the Transformers license and we have She-Ra coming out, the Pee-Wee as well. The worst is Super 7's own brand of uh, the worst villains possible. We have Robotech, Alien, and the Luchadores. So this, these are our Mexican wrestlers. Cool. Are these out yet or will these be coming no, soon? No, these are coming soon. So um, we're expecting to see them come out mid-year. Okay. Um, and we, on our website, we still have the traditional, like, blister pack muscle figures available. So that's the Street Fighter one and the Alien one. So okay. you can still get those ones on our website. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> along with the figures, we're also producing glassware. And the glassware is just a throwback to the old gas station pint glasses that you could get, or the ones that you would get at the fast food chains um, as part of a collectible thing. And we find that a lot of our customers and fans, they like to collect them and most of their cups will be things that they like to see. And so these ones are currently available and um, we're, we're working with a future G.I. Joe license to get um, new designs out. Okay. Uh, is something that we're working with this year to create a big program around uh, our three and three quarter reaction figure. And we're gonna bring in all the characters, not just Frankenstein and Dracula, but you'll see the Metaluna mutant um, and creature from the Black Lagoon. And if you look at the figures in detail, you can see all the level of depth and dimension you get from those sculpts that are hand sculpted by our sculptors. Um, so this is what we are looking for. We're looking for something that has personality. Uh, the, the design is what, some, what really sets it apart from something else. Um, and the throwback artwork as well. Uh, these are amazing. Right, yeah. I mean, I, like the wolf man, come on, right? Every little wrinkle on his shirt. <laughs> Yeah, oh, incredible, especially for such a small figure. Exactly. So this is this is why we do it because these are the figures that we want to have. So we're making them and available to. And we we know that there are other people out there who want the same thing. 
Um, and then the Halloween buckets. Uh, do you watch Stranger Things? Yes, I love Stranger oh Things. Oh my god, right? So <laughs> the, this is kind of that same world of, hey, let's create these amazing sculpts, but keep the colors limited. Like the paint apps, are, there's not much happening with the colors, like just a couple here and there. But sculpting these amazing buckets, um, we're doing it with Transformers and the Alien Xenomorph as well. Uh, so this is this is brand new stuff. Like we are, we just received them from the sculptor uh, right before Toy Fair. So we're excited about Halloween because it's our favorite. Hol is it a holiday? A favorite it should, holiday? It, it should be a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so last Halloween we produced uh, figures in a Halloween series, which included Nosferatu and Hitchcock. Um, Misfits were also a part of that. And King Diamond was supposed to be, but we're releasing it a little later. Okay. Um, so there was a couple things we had to develop with that one as well. So Halloween is becoming our biggest event, almost, after San Diego Comic-Con. Um, these are original vintage uh, Super Sokis that we are going to bring back. They used to have bubble bath, but we're going to do bubble solution where if you twist off the head, a bubble wand is attached and you can blow bubbles using this. So similar to the Halloween buckets, it's really the detail in the sculpt with limited paint apps, but you really get the sense of the figures. And we're not just doing a straight copy. Um, if you look at Frankenstein, his eyes are closed here. Uh, it might be a little hard to see, but okay, his yeah. eyes are open. Right, right. We're bringing his bride into into the mix of figures. So um, this is something that we're like, hey, we should bring this back because why not? It was fun. Let's right, do it. Right. Um, and then the worst is the worst villains possible. Uh, this is the one that was Super 7's IP, our original designs. Um, and we've done it in multiple colorways. And now we're bringing a second wave of villains um, these are not quite done. They're still prototypes, but in development for a new set of villains that are going to um, wreak havoc, I guess, on, on the world. So uh, these are purely conceptual. Um, the one and three quarter inch Keshi surprise uh, figures that would come with that holographic sticker. Um, so all the full cast of figures when we do it in this size you'll notice that some things are exaggerated like their hands are really big um, their faces have a good expression on them as well so we're still keeping a lot of detail in the sculpts when we when we plan out um, what the figures will look like but we know we have a huge following for it so Hellboy is coming out we this is the second wave of figures okay. The other thing we're trying is, um, you'll see that we have individual card backs, but we're we're wanting to bring out window boxes of three sets, like three figure sets, so you can collect them all in the two boxes that you would get. Uh, but some people like collecting individual figures, so we're giving the option of either having a three pack or the individuals. Yeah. And last but not least, Motu, Masters of the Universe. Um, the figures you'll see on the left hand side are seven and a half inch uh, collector series. And these ones are only available direct to consumer with a pre order purchase. Okay. So uh, the ones that have a box behind them, they've arrived at our warehouse last week. So they will be shipping to customers who have pre-ordered them this week. So okay. they will be arriving to your house anytime soon if you've ordered them. Okay. So this one here is our Club Grayskull figures. This is one set. And the other set is right here, the classic figures. Um, they are also one set. So uh, the option to purchase either set through the pre-order. We currently have a pre-order open for... Uh, the Wave 2 figures of Club Grayskull, these are sculpts, so they're paint mastered sculpts um, of the figures. They're not quite ready for production yet, but we are taking pre-orders for Wave 2 of Club Grayskull and then Wave 1 of Collector's Choice here.
Okay. You had a question about this. Yes, these are only available on site, not, not comic shops, right? So we do have one partner, um, Big Bad Toy Store, um, and you can order through them, but I believe they also take it as a pre-order sale. So okay. I'm not sure um, if they're even available. So that's the thing. You have to get in on the pre-order to get these figures. So this one's still open, and this one is also still open. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, you have to purchase the set in order to get that um, those figures. All right. So uh, these ones are high level detailed. There's lots of articulation. Um, you have like the elbow joints, the wrists move, and the knees and the ankles. Um, so detailed. And there's a lot of different accessories that you would get uh, with the figure as well. Um, so this is the childhood toy that most little boys would have had in the 80s, right? Um, so we're bringing back the, what we're calling the vintage line of Motu figures. Um, currently, these four figures are in production, and we're hoping to get them to retail partners um, mid-year. We're just retooling some of the things, almost finalized. Uh, back in the day, the joint, hip joints were held together with an elastic band. Right. Um, and they degrade and break yes, over I know. time. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> okay. knew that. <laughs> so we're, we're re-engineering the hip joint so that there is no elastic band, um, that it will stay in that same uh, kind of form and stand. And it's, a, it's not as easy as you would think it is. So um, they're being finalized and uh, ready for production. And we're really excited about this line of vintage figures. Um, these were shown in the 80s at some toy fair, I believe, but never produced. So we are currently in um, development to make this happen. And these ones are brand new characters, Beast Man and Man at Arms. Um, so we have, I guess, the second wave, or depending on how well uh, the development goes, we have Beast Man, Man at Arms, Hero and Eldor joining our original four cast and crew. Um, here as well. And then, I'm not sure, are you familiar with our Motu Reaction figures as well? Those I have seen at some comic shops. <clears throat> okay. So, in the back, I'm not sure it's, if it's too hard to see, but you'll see the first wave of the Reaction figures for Motu, and they've been doing so well that we're now on wave four of the Reaction figures. And my personal favorite is Orko. <laughs> and you'll see that, well, who knows if he did have legs, but he's got some movable parts there as well. So this is, um, I believe, May for okay. release. Okay. My birthday month. Oh, nice. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so the muscle figures, um, that, that's the traditional way that they uh, are packaged in the three-pack with the blister card. But we also have a mixed trash can version where you will have one of each of the figures of that wave in a trash can, um, different colors, but you still get one of each figure. You just don't know which color. Um, so a lot of uh, fans like to collect the trash cans um, instead of the cards or both or, or however they want to. And then, of course, the apparel that we have in the Super 7 minimal style, we have the 8-bit and the geometric on the left. So, I, there's a lot, yeah. right? <laughs> you guys have such awesome products. Yeah, I mean, we try. I mean, the, the thing about our team is that everybody is a collector um, and they, they are really care about the product and how it looks and how it just brings back that nostalgic feeling. So. Um, it's a great team team behind all of this happening. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's it. And thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you so much. Pleasure.